A faint streak of light slices through the Martian night sky captured by the unblinking eye of NASA's Perseverance rover. It's moving at a blistering 60 kilometers per second, far too fast for a meteor, too steady for a cosmic ray glitch. This is no ordinary celestial visitor. In early October 2025, as the world's attention turns to Mars, an interstellar object known as 3I-Atlas rockets pass the red planet, sparking a firestorm of questions, debates, and tantalizing clues about its true nature. What is this object? Why did Mars's orbiters go silent when we needed their images most? And could a mysterious green flash, fleetingly caught in a single frame, rewrite everything we know about interstellar visitors? Buckle up, space enthusiasts, because today we're diving deep into the enigma of 3I-Atlas, a cosmic puzzle that's gripping scientists and amateur astronomers alike. If you're as fascinated by the mysteries of the universe as I am, hit that like button, subscribe, and let's embark on this interstellar journey together. Let's start with the moment that set the internet ablaze. On October 2nd, 2025, Stefan Burns, a respected amateur astronomer known for his meticulous approach, posted a 9-minute time-lapse video stitched together from Perseverance's raw image archive. The footage revealed a razor-thin streak cutting across the Martian starscape, clocking in at an astonishing 60 kilometers per second. To put that in perspective, NASA's Parker Solar Probe, the fastest human-made object ever, hits 192 kilometers per second only when it's slingshotting around the sun's gravity well. Out at Mars, where 3I-Atlas was zipping by, such speeds are the hallmark of interstellar objects, wanderers from beyond our solar system. Burns didn't just drop the video and call it a day. He meticulously overlaid the frames against a star catalog, calibrated the plate scale using known star separations, and checked timestamps for consistency. His calculations confirm the streak's motion matched the predicted path of 3I-Atlas almost perfectly. But here's the kicker. He urged the community to replicate his work or tear it apart. The result? A viral surge with tens of thousands downloading the frames, running their own analyses, and lighting up forums with heated debates. Share your thoughts in the comments. Do you think this streak is the real deal, or could it be something else entirely? the amateur astronomy community didn't waste a second. Within hours of Burns's post, hundreds of analysts were poring over the Perseverance data, trying to confirm or debunk the 60 km per second streak. Some stacked the frames with custom scripts and claimed success, even spotting hints of secondary fast-moving objects in the October 3rd data. Others using different processing pipelines saw nothing but noise. The debate turned into a digital battleground, with accusations of overfitting and artifact hunting flying back and forth. Then, at 0003 UTC, a bombshell. One group's animation revealed a brief green flash in the frames. Was it a real emission event, perhaps a chemical signature from 3I-Atlas's coma? Or just a cosmic ray strike amplified by overzealous stacking? Teams dove into the pixel-level data, dissecting color channels and arguing over calibration settings. Some insisted the green flash could be a cometary emission line, like dicarbon's telltale glow. Others countered that Mars's thin atmosphere and the rover's camera quirks made digital artifacts more likely. Without raw, unprocessed images or camera telemetry, every claim remained provisional. The lack of an official data release from NASA or ESA only fueled the fire. Why the delay? Is it just the usual lag of a moving target campaign or something more? Let me know in the comments if you think the silence is suspicious or just science doing its due diligence. Mars, for a brief window in early October, became the solar system's best vantage point for observing 3I-Atlas. Three orbiters, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter with its high-rise camera, ESA's Trace Gas Orbiter with CASIS, and Mars Express with HRSC, were tasked with capturing the interstellar visitor as it passed 3.9 million kilometers away, about 75 times the distance from Earth to the Moon. At that range, even high-rise, capable of spotting boulders on Mars, could only resolve 3I-Atlas as a smudge, with a best-case resolution of dozens of kilometers per pixel. The orbiters faced a daunting challenge. Their imaging sequences were reprogrammed using updated ephemeris data to track a target moving at breakneck speed. Each exposure was a gamble. 
aim too early and 3i slash atlas would be out of frame, too late, and it would blend into the starry background. CASSIS, designed for color imaging, aimed to catch the nucleus and any trailing jets or fragments. Mars Express's HRSC, with its wide field of view, scanned for core structure. And the campaign demanded pinpoint coordination with each orbiter slewing off its usual Martian targets to track a fleeting speck. The stakes were high. With Earth-based telescopes blinded by solar glare, these images were our only shot at understanding 3i slash Atlas's true nature. So what do you think the orbiters saw? Drop your predictions in the comments. The absence of raw images from the orbiters is where things get frustrating. Typically, Mars orbiter data from high-profile events hits public archives within days, even if uncalibrated. This time, total silence. No high-rise frames, no Cassius quick looks, not even routine previews from Mars Express. Inside JPL, imaging teams are grappling with a nightmare scenario. At 60 kilometers per second, standard processing pipelines built for static Martian landscapes fall apart. Cosmic ray hits, hot pixels, and misaligned stacks could easily be mistaken for real features like fragments or jets. Every frame must be scrutinized for registration drift, ensuring the predicted path aligns with the actual sky. Calibration teams are working overtime, cross-referencing pixel trails against ephemeris data and flagging anomalies for manual review. The delay isn't just bureaucratic, it's a battle to avoid releasing flawed data that could spark a global frenzy. Imagine the chaos if a cosmic ray streak was mistaken for a companion object. JPL's imaging lead has called it a race against both error and expectation. Releasing too soon risks fueling misinformation. Waiting too long invites accusations of a cover-up. What's your take? Are the teams being overly cautious? Or is this the rigor we need for such a mysterious object? Let's hear it in the comments. Now, let's talk about that green flash because it's where things get weird. Comets often glow green due to dicarbon, a molecule that emits a bright signature when sunlight breaks its bonds. It's a comet hunter's calling card. But 3i slash Atlas throws a curveball. Early reports from Perseverance's frame stacks claim a fleeting green flash at 0003 UTC, suggesting dicarbon in the coma. Yet provisional spectra from Mars Express and the Trace Gas Orbiter tell a different story. The expected dicarbon emission bands are weak or missing, replaced by a volatile mix heavy in carbon dioxide and low in classic carbon chains. A green flash without dicarbon is a chemical paradox. Spectroscopists are urging caution, noting that without time-locked, calibrated spectra, the flash could be a digital artifact from stacking or color correction. The only way to resolve this is with raw orbiter data, pixel by pixel, to confirm whether 3i slash Atlas is rewriting comet chemistry or just tricking our sensors. What do you think this green flash could mean? Is it a new kind of interstellar chemistry or just a camera glitch? Share your theories below! The spectral data from the Mars campaign only deepens the mystery. Mars Express reports an emission fingerprint dominated by nickel, not iron a reversal of what we see in solar system comets. Nickel lines, usually faint, tower over the spectrum, defying standard formation models. Then there's the volatile mix, carbon dioxide outgassing dwarfs water vapor by an order of magnitude, the opposite of what we expect from a comet heating up near the sun. The jet geometry is equally bizarre. Orbiter images, even at their coarse scale, show a sharply defined plume blasting sunward, an anti-tail rather than trailing away. Dust models can't explain the steep brightness gradient. Simulations suggest only a massive, dense nucleus, on the order of 10 billion tons, could sustain such a plume without spinning apart. Yet 3i slash Atlas's trajectory shows no non-gravitational nudges from jets or outgassing, hugging its predicted arc with eerie precision. These anomalies, nickel-heavy spectra, CO2-dominated coma, and a massive, stable nucleus, push natural comet models to the breaking point. Could 3i slash Atlas be something more than a comet? Let's discuss in the comments. The plot thickens with a provocative claim from Avi Loeb, a Harvard astrophysicist known for bold ideas about interstellar objects. His team ran orbital models, 
backtracking 3i slash Atlas's path to see if it crossed the sky coordinates of the 1977 WOW signal. A 72 second radio burst at 1420 megahertz, the hydrogen line, long considered a gold standard for potential extraterrestrial signals. Their Monte Carlo simulations put the odds of this coincidence at 0.6%. Rare, but not impossible. Loeb argues that an object moving at interstellar speeds through the WOW signal's coordinates deserves a radio follow-up. SETI researchers, ever cautious, point out the pitfalls, positional uncertainty, the vastness of the sky, and the risk of seeing patterns where none exist. Still, the hydrogen line's narrow-band nature makes it a prime candidate for artificial signals, Nature rarely broadcasts so precisely. With 3i slash Atlas now behind the sun until early December, the question lingers. Will the next radio window reveal anything extraordinary? What's your stance on this? Is the wow signal connection a stretch or worth investigating? Drop your thoughts below. As of late October 2025, 3i slash Atlas has slipped into a blackout zone behind the sun, invisible to both Earth and Mars-based telescopes. For the next five weeks, no one can track its brightness, trajectory, or structure. This isn't unusual. Perihelion often blinds observers, but it's agonizing for a community hungry for answers. When 3i slash Atlas reappears in December, four metrics will be under scrutiny. Its overall brightness, its path against background stars, its tail or jet morphology, and its spectral fingerprints. Any changes, fragmentation, fading, or a shift in course could either resolve the mystery or deepen it. The scientific community is on edge, from JPL's calibration teams to amateur astronomers running open source stacks. The burden of proof is steep. Genuine features must be repeatable across independent analyses, show consistent color ratios, and follow predictable dynamics. Extraordinary claims like artificial structure or deliberate motion require extraordinary evidence like narrowband radio signals or repeating geometry. What do you hope to see when 3i slash Atlas emerges? Let's speculate in the comments. Let's address a common misconception before we wrap up. Many online discussions have speculated that the lack of raw images means NASA or ESA is hiding something. This isn't supported by how space agencies operate. Data delays are common for complex campaigns, especially with moving targets like 3i slash Atlas. Calibration is a grueling process and releasing unverified images risks fueling misinformation. Still, the anomalies, nickel-heavy spectra, a CO2-dominated coma, a massive nucleus, and that tantalizing green flash can't be ignored. 3i slash Atlas challenges our understanding of interstellar objects pushing the boundaries of what we believe is possible. Whether it's a bizarre natural comet or something stranger, only the evidence will tell. In conclusion, 3i slash Atlas is more than just a streak in the Martian sky. It's a cosmic riddle that's captured the imagination of scientists and stargazers alike. From Perseverance's startling frames to the silent orbiters, from a puzzling green flash to a potential link with the wow signal, this interstellar visitor is forcing us to question what we know about the universe. As we await the next data release in December 2025, one thing is clear, the truth lies in the evidence, and it's up to us to keep asking the hard questions. So, what's your take on 3i slash Atlas? Is it a comet, an asteroid, or something else entirely? Hit that like button, subscribe for more cosmic mysteries, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Let's keep exploring the universe together.